Hi everyone! Hi my uh, amazing creative friends! Um, I'm so excited to be here today and to talk about my experience selling uh, my uh, repeat pattern designs on various websites across the internet. So I've been making a living uh, selling my repeat patterns and I've been receiving many questions from uh, other creative people about um, there, uh, if, if it's possible to sell online and still enjoy creating your artwork and uh, uh, still make money. And uh, I do feel like I have experience in that area since I've been selling for uh, around 10 years now. And uh, today I wanted to talk about this topic and maybe um, see uh, um, who has some questions that I can answer. and. Um, Let's get started. <laughs> okay, I have to figure out how to do screen share. Okay. One second. So I have a, a little presentation prepared right here. Okay. All right, let me see. Okay, hi, whoever is watching. <laughs> All right, let me see. So I first will um, will do the screen share. Okay, You're screen sharing and presenting to everyone. Awesome. All right. Okay. Let's hope this works. <laughs> All right. So this is the little presentation that I prepared. And uh, in this is basically um, my take on uh, which websites to sell your repeat pattern designs. So let's get started. So my experience. I am Oksanta, a vector repeat pattern and designer, and I've been selling my artwork online for more than around 10 years now. Uh, to be honest, I started first with vector illustrations and I illustrated children's books, but then I uh, transferred around to southern eight, nine, I started making repeat patterns in Vector 2 and selling them on various websites. And I'm going to talk about what happened and how everything worked for me and uh, which websites were the best in my opinion. Uh, of course, I have to tell you that because all the different styles are varying, so basically everyone has different style and color schemes and topic topics that are closer to their heart. So, of course, this will be different for many people, but still I feel like it's going to be a good starting point. And uh, when I was starting out and doing my own research, I was I always wanted to have some kind of guide like this, guide like this to uh, understand the market better. So, there you go. Here we go. Okay. So uh, when I look at all the years selling of vector patterns online, I see two main streams of income. Uh, one is um, microstock uh, direction and then another one is uh, print on demand uh, websites. Um, so first I wanted to talk about microstock websites. Uh, this, the, here's the one, the pattern that I chose for this uh, presentation is one with my floral vector pattern that I created, uh, I think, around 2010. Uh, so it's been already almost six, seven years for uh, this pattern. And it's been selling very well on most websites. So I chose this one to represent uh, my work here. So uh, which are Microstock websites are the best ones. So the Microstock websites are the websites where uh, designers and other basically anyone, mostly designers and bloggers and marketers, they come to uh, license their work. So it's not going to be a license 
directly for the fabric line or for clothing that you will know but you can eventually if you have many web patterns you actually do start seeing your work on big even big brand uh, products and fabric lines that happened a few times to me um, most notably Best Buy purchased one of my patterns for their product, uh, which was super awesome since I didn't know and I basically stumbled onto it in my neighborhood Best Buy in California. So that was very cool. But uh, on the bad side is that you don't really get to know how people will use your product, not every time. Sometimes people tell you, but very rarely. But uh, back to the list of websites. So here you can see I listed Shutterstock, Photolia, iStock, Deposit Photo, and 123RF. So these, in my opinion and in my experience, are the best ones to sell patterns on. And uh, the Shutterstock is by far the best. And the, the rest are pretty much similar, but still very good. And I've been selling at, uh, I am selling my artwork on around 15 websites in total. Um, both uh, micro stock and print on demand and uh, these represent the best ones altogether so I do think micro stock has been working for me very well uh, but you have to um, keep in mind a few things about the micro stock and here they are so which repeat patterns sell on micro stock websites first of all they are um, mostly vector patterns uh, that sell the best on micro stock uh, websites raster i did try basically i tried raster versions of my vector patterns since i'm a vector artist most of the time and the rasters did not sell that well it's more maybe 10 percent of the vector sales but you still you can do it you can use it uh your, your raster artwork in jpeg format uh, for example to sell but it's not as it's not as profitable as vector patterns uh, and you have to pass exam to sell on most of the best websites like Shutterstock and um, going back to the list, Shutterstock, iStock for a deposit for and 3 rf they all have an um, exam. You can submit same images to multiple websites. So that's what I did um, when registering on the deposit for the 1 to 3 rf uh, But um, uh, basically, all of these uh, websites have exam except except the photo photolia one which is an uh, american company and uh, i think it's going to be the best one in my opinion to start with since it's selling pretty well and it has no exam so please uh, whoever is a beginner and interested in micro stock for patterns uh, check out photolia but all the other ones are awesome too especially shutterstock okay and uh, the uh, point number five I want to say about the Microsoft websites is that the, um, there is a commercial direction in the pattern. So you have to, with trial and error, figure out which patterns sell. And uh, basically, you have to keyword and do all the market research. And I do recommend approaching this whole thing as a real business and not just I'm going to try this or that. It's going to take you uh, many years to just try and try, but if you plan it out and approach it as real business structured, uh, you actually can make uh, profit from it uh, pretty quickly. You don't have to do to wait three, five years if you just try here and try there. So there is a system that can be um, put in place to receive quick results uh, when you have already good patterns when you have already knowledge of illustrator but even if you don't you can actually start um, learning about adobe illustrator and repeat pattern design in adobe illustrator and you can figure it out uh, reasonably quickly too okay so next one is print on demand websites so i have to say that print on demand websites have been working uh, not as well uh, for me personally for my work but still, they are actually very valuable in my uh, system of my uh, business. And in my opinion, the best one is by far Spoonflower. And I put a Roostery in there just to let you know that they have a new spin-off website. It's called Roostery Home Decor, uh, where they uh, sell already made um, products with you, you using their fabrics and like pillows and um, 
uh, home decor, like blankets and little blankets and little uh, napkins and um, kitchen towels. And I have not had uh, experience with the rooster yet, but I decided to put it right here to let you know that it exists. But so back to spoon flower. I've been selling over there for many years now, uh, at least for seven years, and I have very good experience there, but I have to tell you that this is one particular website of all on the list here, where you can uh, have to pay to sell your designs uh, on that website. You can represent the, your designs for free and create a shop but to sell you have to uh, order proofs on fabric you order little swatches and um, basically then after you, you see that everything worked out well you can mark all the these designs that you purchased as proofs for sale so uh, i have a whole other video about spoon flower and how my experience for particularly spoon flower designs uh, selling on spoon flower uh, on my youtube channel so please check it out over here and uh, after I'm done, I'll put the link in the description box below this uh, live stream. Okay, so uh, let's check out the two of the uh, last ones here. So it's Redbubble and Zazzle. I have experience with two of these uh, for many years now too. I started back almost nine years ago with some illustrations, they didn't work very well. Then I uh, converted two patterns and the patterns have been working much better. And uh, they both, they don't sell fabric in particular. Redbubble and Zazzle sells print on dem dem demand mugs and cups and leggings and uh, um, some products that are textile and some products that are not. They have a huge selection of uh, different um, products and they also sell canvases and uh, uh, all kinds of office supplies and gifts. And I've, I've ordered many things from them. I really like when they were selling kids shoes that you can customize. They don't anymore. Now I'm enjoying their bags that they sell that you can create custom bags with your pattern. I really like uh, that feature. So both of them are good. They don't bring as much money, but they do don't require um, to pay to sell on both of these websites. And they've been actually a, still a steady stream of income for me. And um, I like order my own patterns and various things. So that was fun for me too. So these are still worthwhile, but they don't will not make you your a living for just the two of them, at least not in my experience, but maybe they might for you. So I do recommend you checking them out and see if you like how they feel for your own uh, designs. Okay, so which repeat patterns sell best on print on demand websites? Um, basically, both vector and raster patterns sell because the, it's all in raster format. So I sell my vector patterns, but I do convert them to raster first. So basically, this is the place where you sell your raster designs. Um, there is no exam or approval of your designs because on Microstock you do have to wait for your images to be approved and sometimes they are rejected. Um, but here on print on demand there is no approval per se, at least I never had anything rejected. I think on Zazzle they have, they have some approval but not. that has never been a problem for me. Okay, uh, I, as I told before, you have to order proofs of your patterns to sell on Spoonflower, and you can choose your own direction and style. So it's a little bit more free than Microstock, since you can basically try things and do the color versions also. That's awesome. I did some color versions on Spoonflower. They've been selling very well. So it, I, in my experience, it's more free, but still um, you can actually make more money selling on microstocks at least I, again in my opinion okay so there's one interesting website to watch that i do have some experience with it's called creative market and i've been selling just a few of my sets of patterns over there and they've been doing very well uh which i enjoy i plan to expand my presence and my gallery on creative market uh, so i do recommend checking that one out it's still new for me so I cannot say much about it yet, but it's it's been interesting. It's been definitely worth checking it out. Okay, there's another awesome bonus and a tip from me to you today. And it's this, uh, when you are present on so many websites, 
let's say that you are interested more in working with clients and license your patterns with a with your custom work for freelance clients it's still very wise to be present on many websites as many as you can i in my opinion um so that the people can find you and the funny thing is that sometimes people find me directly on Spoonflower, sometimes they find me on Shutterstock, sometimes they find me on uh, Dreamstime, and sometimes they find me, for example, on Google. So basically, since these websites work well with uh, Google, they know how to present their products well on Google. Uh, they show up in Google Images results, and this is how people find my work and contact me, and I've received, I've got many customers from this exposure. So that's awesome if you want to do freelance work. And another tip, state in the bio of all the websites you're selling on uh, that you are available for custom projects if you are. So I am. I don't think I've did, uh, done it on all my websites yet, but recently I've been, um, I figured out this tip and I am applying it. So I am trying to state everywhere I can and I'm available for freelance projects. So I hope it works for you too. Okay. So uh, last thing, not, not the last thing, but uh, another thing that I wanted to mention is that sell your own work. That's super important. Please sell your own work. I've had many artists uh, use my patterns that they gotten somewhere, probably from Microsoft websites. Uh, they actually use them on print on demand and other places, and it's not nice. Uh, it's um, not. It's illegal because uh, you, you cannot sell your uh, the, the patterns that you or artwork that you bought on the print on demand websites or on microstock unfortunately people still do it and it's very easy to get banned because if you make a name for yourself people basically tell you that this somebody else saying you're selling your work and then the, those people get banned oftentimes for life from these websites so it will not get you very far so please create your own designs. I know in the beginning it can be challenging uh, because you might feel like uh, you might feel that my patterns are not selling yet. My patterns are not selling yet. But everybody, everybody went through this stage, and it's okay. You have to be patient, and you have to envision um, your designs being sold. You have to envision them on products, which is a great, great way, and uh, try and explain or expose your basically expose the internet to your work and uh, place them uh, anywhere you can and uh, this way you will start selling in in no time and you will get better and better since you will see what people are buying and what you can how you can combine your own vision and passion with what's commercially viable and that's going to be your sweet spot right there so um, I'd like to hear from you. Do you have any experience with other websites that sell patterns? Uh, for example, I know about Society6. I haven't tried that one yet. Maybe somebody tried it. Maybe somebody can tell me what they think about it. Or other websites that uh, you can sell patterns on. Please let me know in the comments below this video. And let's start a discussion. And uh, that would be great to find more information from you guys. Okay, questions and answers. I do have a um, question that I received from uh, one of the amazing uh, creative people is that uh, do you have to pay money to um, sell on these websites? And I am, my answer is on the ones that I listed, it, uh, only one requires you to pay money to sell, it's Spoonflower, but all of the rest are free to try, they do have sometimes exam. Most of the time they have exams. Some of them do not. They have approval. Most of Microsoft ones have approval. The print on demand ones do not. So uh, it's a little bit uh, across the board different. It differs across the board, but most of them are free. So if you are starting out with a small budget, you don't have to invest a lot of money to sell uh, on most of the websites. Oh, right. And another question that I have is uh, how many patterns do you have to have to start selling? And I do recommend making a lot and a lot and a lot, as many as you can every day. First of all, for practice, 
purposes but uh, the more you make the more the better you will get as a designer and also the better you will start selling and you will see more income once you make more pattern patterns so basically practice and practice as much as possible and this will uh, definitely definitely help you grow your creative business faster but to start uh, selling technically on many better many websites you can start with just only a few only maybe I, I think starting from 10 15 would be enough to get you started but I recommend making a few per day getting to the goal of making a few per day if you can and practice and set up systems actions templates whatever you can to be prolific in this work that definitely worked for me okay to sum up it is possible to successfully sell your repeat pattern designs online uh, I've done it many uh, a few of my other artist friends done it and I am uh, want I want to share this good news and I know it's been frustrating it's been frustrating for me too but um, uh, you have to start the clarity comes from action you have to start take action and uh, go for your dream if uh, you enjoy making repeat patterns I uh, certainly do I still feel like every time I make a new one it's like a puzzle I feel like a child who figures out how to make the pattern all over again and all over again and uh, to see this creative opportunity within repeat pattern designs they are amazing so I am uh, super excited to share just a little bit of my experience with you guys. I really, really hope somebody will find help in this information. And please, if you do, if you find it helpful, uh, put in the comments below. If you maybe have some suggestions how can I can improve this information and uh, my um, live streams going forward, please also share that with me below in the comments under this video thank you so much for watching and this is the part of my presentation where i said where, where basically that's the end of my presentation i'm going to go back to the video and hang out a little bit more and see if many maybe somebody has um questions for me so thank you so much for watching I really enjoy my uh, time with you guys and uh, that's the end of my presentation uh, all right okay let me figure out Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm looking at the comments right here. Oopsie daisy. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm reading the comments. Not sure if anyone sees me. <laughs> Does anyone see me now? Let me see. Um, I have no idea. Okay, sorry guys, I think I got a little bit confused here. Oh, okay, I'm sharing the screen. <laughs> I'm trying to see what's going on, but I'm sharing the screen. Uh, okay, how do I go to... That's not it. Okay, I got totally confused. Hmm. How, now, how can I get out of this? Hmm. Okay, oh, you see me? <laughs> oh, all right. 
Uh, okay. We see your screen to be more precise. Oh, okay. Thank you, Volodymyr. Thank you. For <laughs> okay, you see my screen. That at least that is good. But I have no idea how to go out and how to get out and. Uh, hmm. I have no idea how to get out and show you my face. Okay, probably we'll just go on with, <laughs> with how it works here. But well, thank you guys for letting me know. Um, okay, so let me read some comments here. So Volodymyr says, hi, hi, Volodymyr. Mariela is here, hi, Mariela. So you have your patterns uh, in Society6 and Live Heroes. And you, Mariela, was to try Zazzle, awesome. Um, okay, Mariela, you say we see your pick. <laughs> okay. Okay, the only problem for Volodymyr is getting a lot of ideas to make many patterns per day. Well, Volodymyr, it, for me, I go on Pinterest, basically, and I just, what I do, I will share my way of how I uh, do it. I basically just stare at the flood of pictures until something catches my eye. And then I'm like, okay, this is it. So I don't know if it works for you, but just to, to get you started, basically just go stare on Pinterest for a little bit and then you will, <laughs> you will get an idea. I'm pretty sure. Or at least have an attitude that you will get an idea from staring at a ton of inspiration. And Pinterest is basically a flood of inspiration. And what's going to happen next once you know you, you basically will make a bunch of patterns and then once you know the ones that sell you will start working more on the ones that sell so basically you see oh wait my um floral patterns sell uh, more than the ones that animal ones i did oh mm, interesting okay so on this website i have to do more floral patterns and then you basically then christmas comes around and everyone starts to um Basically, everyone starts to uh, buy your Christmas patterns. So that's what you can do. And you can basically start making Christmas patterns more and then switch to summer patterns or something like that. So it, it, it comes with experience. And um, yeah, that's what, we, that's what definitely been working for me. Okay, so... And... Mariela says, get inspiration in everything. Yes, definitely another way to just look around. And that's very inspiring for me too. But Pinterest has been doing the trick if I'm stuck for ideas, for sure. Okay, Oladimir says, another way is to just illustrate whatever and then use it later to make more complex patterns. Um, yes, that's true. That's actually true. If you find a shape you like or a texture you like, you can use that for patterns too. Okay, let's see. Um, Mariela says that you can use nature, fauna, sky, modern life, pets, etc. Yes, I, I recommend just studying whatever catches your attention first. Get better and faster at making patterns, and then it's not such a big deal for idea for one specific pattern then basically you start getting more and more ideas and you start executing them faster and faster. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see, Mariela says, Vladimir use Illustrator motif tool or filter in Photoshop others. Yeah, that's a good advice, Mariela, thank you. And I usually inspire nature and abstract, Mariella says. Yes, that's a good, that's a very good idea. And but I feel like def different people get inspired by different things. For example, I, I started, I was doing many kind of illustrative children-like patterns, but then I transferred into nature and then I transferred into geometry and I'm experimenting with all kinds of textures now. Okay, Volodymyr says, almost works. It's tempting to just make similar things, which will make it less unique. But generally, Pinterest is an awesome place. Yes, that's true, but you have to tell yourself that you are unique. You have to come with this attitude. Never, don't get tempted by, by other people who copy people because they get banned. In my experience, they just get banned. So 
don't take that road and just immediately say that I'm going to suffer this through and do something unique and then people will you will see people will give you feedback on what they are buying by what they are buying you will know what works and you say oh this topic and style is awesome and people buying it that's your sweet spot that's your golden egg right there okay um mariella says that pinterest or instagram works perfect yes instagram is good too i get a little bit confused navigating through through instagram but maybe because i just go to pinterest for the at this point okay vladimir asks what's illustrator motif tool um i uh, maybe mariella can answer that you select your work you create motif or pattern. yes that's what i thought uh, mariella meant it's a pattern tool okay mariella says i'm trying to translate from spanish <laughs> you're, you're doing very good job mariella thank you so much for your great advice and uh, definitely it's been been very helpful um i don't really use pattern tool myself since i use my own version of it uh, which you can see in the in my uh, first live stream that i did with the pineapple pattern but um so is this just works very fast for me and it's great for production purposes uh but i i, I did to take a course on linda.com about pattern tool which was very helpful and then i just took a few things from the course and applied it to my own system so that's been working for me very well but i do feel like pattern tool you can do most of the things Yay, thank you for all the hearts. Thank you for all the love, Mariella. I yeah, I'm so excited for you guys to be here and so excited to chat with you. Sorry that I couldn't figure out how to turn my face back on, but yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay, guys. Uh, do you have any other questions or do you want to wrap this up? Let me see. Volodymyr, oh, how, how, so it's not a tool. I do use pattern tool a lot and also figured out the way Accenture does it. But I just use it at first, then use pattern maker anyway. Uh-huh, okay, okay, you can do that too, whatever works. I don't think there is one, only one way. Um, basically, whatever works. For me, my way is super fast and then it's just very easy to then put it all the way to production. Um, but Pattern Tool is awesome too. I do feel like it's great too. And I'm, I'm sure they will improve it more and more um, as we go along in our creative journey. Because when I just first started, there was no, there is no, <laughs> thank you so much guys. There is no, um, there was no Pattern Tool when I started and that's why I, uh, came up with the system with the help of my husband as I talk in my one of my videos on my channel but um, whatever works for you I would just recommend get to the point where you can do a few patterns per day with no stress then you just practice 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 and then the topics you just try any to topics that come to you try selling them that's why microstock works for me because I can, oh, wait, this does not sell. I, I don't have to do more of this. Oh, this sells pretty well. I can do more of this. And if I want just do patterns for my own joy, you can do that too because it's super fast. <laughs> so you can just put them on Spoonflower if, you don't, if they won't sell on uh, microstock. Thank you so much, guys, for your kind words and for hanging out here with me. I had so, lots of fun. I hope it's been helpful for you and I wish you all the best. Okay, Vladimir well, says, actually, Mr. The CC is pretty good. When I started, there wasn't one too. And then it was very bad with a lot of errors. Yes, I know. I know what you mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. It was very tough. It took me, in the beginning, it took me at least a week to figure it out, to make one pattern. And then it wouldn't really sell. So I know that the beginning is tough, but it's it's come it's going to be better. It's going to work out. Okay, guys, 
let's go back to work. Let's get to work creating some fun patterns. I'm going to make some more videos for you guys about this topic soon. And let me know if you liked the live stream format. Thank you. Thank you, Volodymyr. Thank you for showing up. Thank you, Mariela. I really appreciate you guys. And um, please share some of your patterns that you're making. And if you have questions more about this topic, let me know. And um, thank you very much for being here. Okay, bye, guys. Okay, let me see how can I stop this stream. <laughs> um okay let me check it out live streaming events live now live control probably i could have done it from here okay there you go let me stop it somehow. Hmm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> stop broadcast. Okay, let me say. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Well, I hope you guys see me now. <laughs> Sorry, I figured it out too late, but I was reading comments anyway. And uh, thank you once again for watching today. I really had lots of fun. Hope this information is useful to you and have a great creative day or evening or night or whatever time it is in your place. Bye. <laughs>